Welcome to the Radiology Vault, an open repository for radiology educational content designed for learners and medical professionals. Presented by the Michigan Medicine Department of Radiology. My name is Elizabeth Lee. I'm a cardiothoracic imager at Michigan Medicine. In this short presentation, I will discuss adult cardiac masses and their appearance on MR. I have no relevant disclosures. During this presentation, I will give an overview of how cardiac masses are imaged using MR. Then we'll describe MR imaging characteristics of cardiac masses in adults using a case-based review highlighting the most common masses encountered in practice. How do we image cardiac masses? First, CINE images are obtained for tumor localization and to assess whether the mass has any effect on cardiac function. Next, T1 and T2 weighted imaging using a black blood double inversion recovery are obtained with or without fat suppression. Finally, contrast is given with first pass perfusion imaging during contrast administration, followed by early T1 fat saturation and delayed inversion recovery imaging are obtained to assess for enhancement. This is our first case, a 46 year old with recent stroke found to have a left ventricular mass on echo and here are representative MR images. The diagnosis in this case is thrombus. Thrombus can have variable signal on T1 and T2 weighted sequences. And the key to diagnosis is that thrombus does not typically enhance. This lack of enhancement can be confirmed on the delayed inversion recovery sequence by repeating an image through a slice of the mass with a very long inversion time somewhere on the order of 600 milliseconds. Thrombus is the most common mass identified within the heart and specific clinical scenarios can also help the imager provide a confident diagnosis. Our next case is a 68 year old with history of melanoma found to have a cardiac mass on CT. The best diagnosis in this case is metastasis. Metastasis can have variable signal on T1 weighted sequences, but are typically hyper intense on T2 weighted sequences. Metastases enhance and can occur anywhere in the heart, depending on their mode of spread. Remember, metastases are 20 to 40 times more common than primary cardiac tumors. So in patients with history of underlying malignancy, a metastasis should be a primary diagnostic consideration. This is a 58-year-old with a left atrial mass found on echo. The diagnosis in this case is a myxoma, which is the most primary cardiac, which is the most common primary cardiac tumor of the heart. The key to diagnosis are the location, with 90% of myxomas occurring in the atria most commonly the left atrium at the fossa ovalis, as we see in this case. T1 and T2 are variable, and enhancement is also, also often heterogeneous. This is a 48-year-old with a left ventricular mass on echo. In order to make this diagnosis, a fat saturation sequence is key, as lipomas will null or lose signal with fat saturation. Lipomas are T1 and T2 hyperintense, and they lack appreciable contrast enhancement. This is a 42-year-old found to have a mass on the pulmonic valve. Fibroelastomas are a primary consideration for a mass that arises on a valve. 
These are typically small in size and reported imaging findings on MR include T1 ISO intensity, T2 hyperintensity, and enhancement post contrast. Again, location is key to considering this diagnosis. And finally, this is a 53 year old with chest pain found to have a mass on CT. Angiosarcomas are heterogeneous on T1 and T2 weighted sequences and show heterogeneous enhancement after contrast administration. These tumors have an aggressive feature or appearance and most commonly occur near the right atrium at the atrioventricular group as we see in this case. In conclusion, the most common mass in the heart is thrombus. Metastases are much more common than primary cardiac tumors and tumor location can be very helpful in formulating your diagnosis or differential diagnosis. Thank you.